Hey, what's up, everybody? Thanks for joining another real-time edit. I got this lovely rosette spoonbill here. I actually photographed in New Jersey, which was the first time I've ever seen one in New Jersey, which is pretty cool. Um, it was a juvenile bird, so the color's a little bit more dull, but actually not too bad for what you normally see up here, or what I've seen photos of since I've never seen one. Anyway, back to the photo. We'll start with the basic crop. I'm just going to bring a little bit off the right side there, but generally speaking, I really like the composition I have here. So just going to lighten it up. Uh, I'm going to pop up the lights here just to get a little bit more punch out of it. A little bit warmer. Shadows up. Blacks back down for contrast. There we go. That's looking pretty good. Uh, I don't think there's much else to do here. I'm just going to do the rest of the color adjustments in Photoshop. So we'll go ahead and hop over there. And basically that's going to be uh, just trying to make the sky and the water a little bit more blue and vivid. Just because the sun was so low at that point, those sky and water colors were getting a little bit more dull. Plus, there was actually some clouds that were kind of moving off there uh, that were just, again, kind of dulling it down. Uh, I don't see anything I need to clone here. So I'll just start with some basic stuff. Uh, it's a juvenile bird, so it's got a rather dark eye. So I'll start out and try and lighten the eye up a little bit there. Whoop, probably a bit much there. I'll just go a little bit more subtle. And I also want to actually make a little bit more pink in the wing there, so a little bit more warmth as well. So go ahead and do a curve that adds some yellow and red to that and then it's pretty soft here so I'm just gonna go ahead and paint it in as I see it here I'm not gonna bother trying to select it just because I think I can easily get what I need put a little bit more on the tip there and even this wing out here you can see it's got some pink but we'll just go ahead and add a little bit more just to make that color really stand out and then under here it was I mean it was probably like the last 20 minutes of sunlight. It was this beautiful golden sunlight that was really kicking in there. So um, not a lot that I need to add to that. Let's get these fun scaly legs, make them a little bit more pink. And then that's looking pretty good on the bird. I got good contrast there. You know, I want a little bit more brightness and contrast on the head. See how the neck is getting nice and bright and white there, but the head is not. So let's uh, Go ahead and pump up some contrast on the head there and just paint a little bit of that in just to get a little bit more vividness there. Probably not quite as much as I did. All right, now I'll go ahead and I really want to add some blue to the sky and the water, something like that. Just going to go ahead and use color range, see if I can select out pretty much everything except for that wing um, and the bird. There's a few areas there, so I'll just paint it back out of that when I'm done. So there, we'll do that and just grab the, oops, paint with black, get rid of any of that overlap that went in on the bird there, probably definitely back here. Yeah, made that a little bit more blue, a little bit on the, uh, the old spoonbill there. And let me get a harder edge brush now because it's getting a little sharper there. And we'll just go ahead and, well, it's not sharp there, but just kind of get rid of that. So that should kind of do that. Let's see yeah, a few areas I missed there. Nice and easy to fix. Yeah, it definitely caught that spoonbill there. So I'll clean that up. Also don't need more blue around the tail. And then I think we're good. All right. So that's definitely, yeah, that's way better. A little bit more blue. Now, it is. It does look a little weird to have it that blue coming right up to the horizon. So I'll put a little bit of a fade in there where we lose some of that color as it gets closer to the horizon. That's better. And then I'll make sure the top is totally white there. So we're getting the full effect there. And same thing with the water. There was a little bit of area. Yeah, you can see I can paint in more blue down there. All right, so looking good on the color. Let me get that saved. And then I'll head back to Lightroom to show you the total before and after. Uh, real quick, just a reminder, um, if you're interested in learning how I do exactly what I do here on these quick videos, I know they're fast and I know people have pointed that out. But this is meant to simply show you what's possible, not necessarily teach. If you want to learn, get in touch with me, head on over to rayhennessy.com, go to the workshops menu, and then check out the online workshops. 
got a bunch of options here. Uh, the usually the simplest one is to just do an online remote session with me. The other thing is I have a bunch of shows out, so, uh, a lot of podcasts, the wildlife photo chat, where I interview other photographers, the raw podcast photographers, favorite show, and these old wildlife photo stories. I haven't done one in quite some time, but they're there as well as the live wild conversation show, uh, usually once a month. So check all those out. Thanks so much for watching. Oh wait, I almost forgot. Let's go check and compare the original. There's my edit compared to the original. What a difference there, huh? Really looking dull on the original like that. Wait, is that the full original? Yeah. Um, yeah, so pretty dull there, but the, the content is there, and then we kind of brighten it up and, and make those colors a little bit more visible. All right, so there we go. That's everything, everybody. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.